Today on In Your Face Anatomy, we are looking at muscles of the thigh. All right, let's get into it. All right, muscles of the thigh. So this is my thigh, this is my leg. We're looking at these muscles here at the top. So we'll start off looking at our muscle list. Right at the top, we've got gluteus maximus. So gluteus maximus, of course, is your big butt muscle. So that's an easy one to spot. Everybody knows gluteus maximus. There it is. But if I get rid of it, pull gluteus maximus off, now underneath it, I've got these two muscles that I'm concerned with that I need to be able to distinguish. So this one is gluteus medius. This one is called piriformis. And how we remember those is gluteus medius kind of goes straight up here. Like it's going right up the middle, middle, medius. This is gluteus medius. And this one is piriformis. So piriformis attaches your hip uh, to your pelvis, one of those muscles. Piriformis, gluteus medius. And they're both under gluteus maximus. So when we put that back on. Next up, I've got... Um, Tensor fascia latte, which sounds like uh, something you would order at Starbucks, but it's this muscle here. And the tensor fascia latte actually turns into my iliotibial tract. So all of this in gray here, this is my iliotibial tract or my IT band. Tensor fascia latte, iliotibial tract. All right, next up I've got rectus femoris. All right, so this is the big one. This is where we really want to start. Mm, let me find something here. Give me some height there. So rectus femoris is your big thigh muscle right in the middle. So this is going to be our kicking off point. Rectus femoris. Think the femurs right underneath this. Rectus femoris. Straight up, straight up above the knee. Both sides of this. Rectus femoris. Now on the medial side, this big muscle is called vastus medialis. On the lateral side, this is vastus lateralis. And then if I take rectus femoris off underneath it, this is vastus intermedius. So vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, all combined with my rectus femoris, those four muscles are what make up my quadriceps. Vastus medialis, vastus intermedialis under this one, rectus femoris, and vastus lateralis. Now if we make our way around, next up we've got sartorius. So sartorius is this thin muscle. It's easy to spot. It cuts all the way around, ends up and near the side of the knee here in the back. This is sartorius. Now on the inside of my thigh, there's the foot so you kind of get some orientation here. On the inside of my thigh, I've got three muscles here that I'm really interested in. This one is adductor longus because it's a little bit longer. This one on this side is adductor magnus because it's a little bit bigger. And then in between, I've got this flat muscle. This is called gracilis. So adductor longus, gracilis, adductor magnus. And these are my adductor muscles. So when they contract and get shorter, that's what's going to pull my leg in, back in towards my midline. So these are adductors because we know that motion of adduction. Now before I move on, peeking out under sartorius here, your sartorius peeking out. We have this little muscle here. It's cut off. We just get a little piece of it. So this is called iliopsoas. Iliopsoas, sartorius, adductor longus, gracilis, adductor magnus, and that gets us around to the back of the thigh. Now on the back of the thigh, it looks like two muscles, but it's really three. And these make our hamstrings. As we feel the back of your knee, you'll feel these little um, tendon-like components. That's These are my hamstrings. So quadriceps in the front, hamstrings in the back. Looks like two, but it's really three. And we can see it here with that separation. This is two different muscles, one sitting right on top of the other. So the one on top is semitendinosus. The one underneath it here, this is semimembranosus. So think T for top, T for tendinosus. Underneath that is semimembranosus. And if we spin that around on the other side, that gets us to biceps femoris. Not to be confused with biceps brachii, that's in my arm. This is biceps femoris right there surrounding the femur. And then that gets us all the way back to this muscle, which is still, all of this is vastus lateralis. 
So that's the way we learn this. We pick a muscle. I would pick rectus femoris. It's an easy one to start with. And then you work your way around. So we go rectus femoris, vastus medialis, sartorius, iliopsoas, adductor longus, gracilis, adductor magnus, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris, vastus lateralis, the iliotibial tract, up to tensor fascial latte, gluteus maximus, ugh, gluteus medius in the middle, and piriformis. So, muscles of the thigh. Pretty straightforward, not terribly complicated. One of the easier muscle models that we have. All right, good luck.